hello and welcome back to another video. Um, I've literally just stopped filming um, the clean organising of this craft space that I've got, studio, office, whatever you want to call it. Um, and before I go and make orders and wreck it again, I just thought I'd do a quick um, tour of where I've got things and how it's laid out at the moment. It'll probably change next week, some of those people that changes. But I thought as it's um, semi-tidy, um, and I thought I'd give you a quick tour and while we've got the light it's a bit of a gloomy day here at the moment so um, yeah so let's quickly get into it okay so this is one of our spare bedrooms um, we have two spare bedrooms the other one's Nathan's office and then this one's mine I've got the bigger one so I'm quite lucky um, over here this is where I'm going to put orders and stuff ready to go out to the post office so I've left that little basket down there um, sorry the floor is really creaky um, this is my printer I've got the HP OfficeJet Pro 1919 which I think is the same as the 9010 or the, the instructions are all the same um, it's a really good printer but um, I am looking to change it to get a better one soon maybe maybe that's on the cards but for now um, I like the look of it and it, it does its job um, up in here I've got my cards that I put out and put notes on and um, that go in orders so this is sort of like my packing station um, access here and then I've got these two Ikea pegboards up here that I've got all my bits on um, so this is like my rolling pin the I have the recycled um, parchment paper so the clay doesn't stick I also have some this looks like um, well, I can't remember what it's called cellophane um, cling film um, but it's actually not plastic it's a biodegradable material so it's it's lasted me forever to be honest um, and I use that for some of my clay bits uh, but yeah in here I've got some little tools um, little pliers and things like that got my scissors and string and these are all like odd bits that go with um, so some odd beads um, I bought these like scrabble letters to do for like flat lay photos but I've not actually ever used them my little collection of toadstools going up on there this is the one I made this little one here and the others I've bought um, and that's Lucy Watson, um, her art that I bought. Um, I'll tag her down below. And then I've got my rolls of um, sandpaper. Uh, this thing, I'm going to try and get this ruler off ooh, without making a total mess. This is a like for your post, so the Royal Mail size guide, there you go. And this makes sure that if I can send it, and I know that if I can send it as a letter or a large letter, um, so that's been really good because um, I use click and drop I can't I don't take it necessarily to a post office so they can't check it so I need to make sure it's right and this is my ever-growing collection of cookie cutters that I used to shape the clay these are all the Easter clay decorations I had for taking photos the other day um, and then this is just some little um, cutters I've got um, some odd bits of glue and bits up there this trolley has the top of it has my um, these are compostable bags again um, that I put the cards in. You've probably seen me pack up if you've watched any of the studio vlogs. Um, and then I have these hardbacked envelopes and then these spotty ones. So the card goes in there, then into one of those, and then into the mailing bag. Um, and I have the envelopes that go with the cards underneath. So this is, oh, I've got a sale. Um, yeah, so they're the envelopes that go with the cards, so I've just popped all of them down there. And then down in the bottom one is driftwood that I use for other pieces, so bits like this um, that I use for hanging decorations. That one's in in progress at the moment. Oh, I've been joined. Oh, thank you for your bow. You want to come and help? Do you? Um, yeah, and then in these little bits I've got like some smaller, some of my packages I can't fit those bigger cards in. Um, so I've got some smaller thank you that focuses thank you cards that go in there. Um, I've got things like the corner cutter, scissors, glue, um, some bits of tissue paper that cut to the size of my really small boxes. So that's my little trolley and I can obviously, when I'm working at my desk here, um, I can then pull that trolley. <laughs> You're going to do some work. Um, I'm going to pull that trolley towards me. Then in on this shelving unit here, again this is from Ikea, um, I've got Bumblebutt up there with his little orangutan friend. Um, this is also Robbie, my mum's old dog, um, who's not with us anymore, was called Robbie and he, and that was his toy, so he sits up there. 
Um, yeah, um, up here in these ones I've got some extra, so extra twine, things like that. This bit up here is extra bits to go with projects that I might want to do in the future. So there's like magnets and bits like that. Um, my sprays and stuff and big paint um, bottles are up there. All my other paints go in here. Um, extra labels to go for the label printer. My um, label gun, I want to put things like paint and I haven't got around to that. Um, I haven't got around to that yet. Um, Oh no, I just noticed penguins falling over. Hang on. There you go. Oh, just hit you in the eye. Um, then there's my wax seal stuff back there. In here is all my stamping stuff, so all different types of stamps. I'm actually just moving over to these um, types of stamp just because they're like, I like using the wooden stamps, but then they don't always go straight. Um, so I invested in a few of these ones that slide onto, um, back to over here. So they slide onto there and then you stamp them in. Um, and then I got these organizers and then I printed my own little labels off so I know what letters each. Cause that's the worst bit about this is finding the right letter and not having enough. So I bought three sets of each. I've got a bigger set and a little set. And there's some more stamps down here. This is when I started to do um, like concrete stuff, like concrete candles, but I haven't really, I found it a bit messy. So I don't think I'll carry on with that. I never sold any of that. That was just sort of a bit of a hobby. And I've got all my pencils and felt tips here. And then the beads. These are the beads that go on the top of all my clay keepsakes and stuff. So these are all the different colors um, that I do. And then just files at the bottom there. Then I had used to have this desk higher, so it was standing height, but now I've put it into an L shape. The reason this doesn't match is because there's a radiator under there, so I can't lower it down anymore. I mean, I couldn't lift this one up, but anyway. So I have my like, admin desk here, and then my working desk here. Um, so these are all my um, what do you call them? <laughs> paint brushes. Um, this lamp is attached to the side, which I got from Ikea. These are some of the magnets that I've been trying out um, as like testers, but um, they're all stuck on the side. Yeah, so I then have my like, bits that put the holes in the clays and bits like that in here. So they're all my little tools. I then have these three boxes on my desk. So I normally have, I've got some mats over here, some big green mats that I put down when I'm making things. Um, this is ongoing projects. This one is like tools, so this is got all my like embossing um, mats, bowls for when I make the trinket dishes, and then um, what do you call that? A palette, paint palette um, thing there. This is all the ribbons and stuff. I have got some ribbons up in these little bits here, but that they don't seem to sell many gadgets for this anymore, so I didn't have space for this, but that's just a little ribbon basket. Um, and then I have these trays for drying things on, um, which I have more of um, under there. There's some more in there. But um, oh yeah, and I keep my spare clay in here, so that's where all the spare bits of clay live in there. And then I've got my like my if you saw my scrapbooking, so this is all my stickers, paper, and scrapbook. It's got all my small businesses that I bought from. Um, under the admin desk is also the stuffing that I use to put in boxes and protect things. Then on my admin desk I have, I use a Mac laptop, uh, MacBook Air, and then that just sits on this stand. Um, which I find so useful. And then I have this rainbow keyboard or whatever it's called in the uh, tech world. Um, my lamp, pens, pencils. In here I've got my 4x6 stamps, my round, not stamp, stickers. My circular round stickers I make myself, like these ones, so I make them myself. Um, these are stickers for orders, because I tend to pack card orders on this desk anyway, and then I use the clay one for the clay items. Um, this is my to-do file. Then in these drawers, oh, I totally missed these drawers. In these ones I have cards, these are pre-folded cards ready to pop in the printer and print my card designs off. This one has odd bits of 
um, cards for projects. So I was going to do like brown cards. I haven't got round two and ink. Um, got it. You silly face. <laughs> um, my big envelopes and some spares. And these are all just fold with boxes ready to be folded. Um, right, let's do these drawers. So, usual top junk drawer. Everyone has one of those, don't they? Um, notebooks. I can't even remember what's in here. Oh, tapes, washi tapes, and my tape dispenser, which I love. Fits a massive one and a small one on. Then in this one, more notebooks. Oh, I want to put my camera bits in there as well, or bits I use often. And at the bottom is my other arts, crafts, hobbies drawer. So this is all bits that I've started over the years. Um, all the other bits, so like glitter um, and watercolour. I do a little bit of watercolour as well, so that's in there. Then last but not least is this um, cupboard, which we have inbuilt cupboards in every room in our, like every bedroom, but they're like the biggest waste of space. They're just not laid out properly. I bought these shelves. This is a bit like my Monica closet, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, I can close the doors on it and don't have to look at it. But yeah, I bought these from Amazon for about 30 quid each, which seems quite expensive, but I can then take them out or adjust them. And they do, I mean, you can see how much I've got on there and they haven't budged, touch wood. Um, but yeah, so I have all my, so when I go to fairs, I have stuff already made up. So I normally do made to order, but these boxes here have got stuff that I've already made um, or projects that are ongoing. Um, these and these are also my display items, so I use these to s display things at craft fairs. Um, I painted them green myself. All these boxes and stuff like this, this all baskets and stuff I take to craft fairs um, for displaying items. And this box is ongoing DIY projects um, or things I haven't started yet. Material, that's a whole basket of just random rubbish. rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish, but you know what I mean. This is a box that I take to fairs as well that has my like money tin in it. Um, all, the admin, all the bits that don't look pretty go in here so it then does look pretty. So that I can then put that on the side of my stool and open it up when I need to get cash and stuff. But when I close it, it all looks nice. This is all my spare sales cards. So if I do have a seconds or it doesn't print quite right, I am... Um, then pop them in here and I sell them for 50p each at my fairs and stuff which obviously then means I've covered the cost of what it cost me to buy don't necessarily make anything on it but it's not getting like just thrown in the bin so I have that on my sales also a sale on a fair like on a market store brings people in so anyway this black box is full of all camera stuff um, and also some wrapping paper or like some gift wrap that I use at markets. Um, up here are some other different bits of paper. So there's A4 plain paper and different cards. Um, spare boxes. So these are all boxes I've been sent stuff in. Um, but I can reuse. And here's my clay. And some other boxes at the back as well. And then, uh, yeah, the clay. So that is it. Um, oh, and then down this side. Try not to stand on the dog. Is my wall calendar um, from Leaf Lane Studio which I put all like plan all my dates you can see a few dots on there um, of when I'm going to launch things down here is like so I've got like a white bit of card for a backdrop I haven't dusted this bit look um, there's a bit of old work our old kitchen worktop well, not our, it's our current kitchen worktop but it's a bit of spare I use for product photos these green massive mats I put on there when I'm doing clay bits. Um, this is the board I made the other day with fairy lights on it. To use as a bit of a backdrop sometimes. Um, and then there's other, just other boards that I use for like spraying, glossing, painting. Um, and that's ready to get, I've got some stains on the carpet down there that I need to get rid of. Um, but yeah. And then in this corner is little hangy things. Of stuff that I can use for flat lay photos or just bits I liked. These are ongoing projects at the moment for me and other bits that I've bought from other sellers. But um, yeah, that's in that corner. And then on the front of the door is my little little sign that Nathan bought me. Um, and then 
the Shetland fairy made me a little emerald fairy to go on the front. Um, but yeah, so that, Mr. Poopy, as we call you. Not Max, his name is actually Max. <laughs> um, here's the office. But yeah, so that's a quick tour of my craft space. Um, any questions, let me know below. Um, or any storage tips that you've got if you've got your own craft space that I can use. Um, as I say, I'm always changing it, trying to make it work. Um, and one day everything will have a home and it will just work and stay organised. Um, I don't mind it getting messy during the day, but I like at the end of the day for everything to have a home and everything to just go back. And I haven't quite got that yet. So, yeah. But anyway, thank you again for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.